Hello, and welcome to part two of our three-part series for Tuesday Tips on EIV. The tips were derived from my being in the field and assisting with MORs. Today we'll look at removing the EIV expired UAAF or CAF users. An example, the property states that they had removed, let's say, Sarah as a UAAF user, but at the time of the MOR review, EIV shows the reviewer that Sarah is still listed as being expired. For the MOR reviewer, it's the name that will still appear on the HUD certification list. A finding will be given for this. To remove a user that is no longer with the company or no longer needs access to pull the EIV data information from IRIMS is a three-step process. The first step is to remove the user from the property. The second step is to unassign the user's role. Some do this in conjunction with step one, which makes it a two-step process. The third step is to terminate or unassign the user in the WAS under Property Assignment Maintenance ID. And this is taking them from active to terminate. So in our example, to close the finding for the review, the coordinator must perform these steps. One, remove Sarah from the property. Two, and any assigned roles. Three, go into the WAS ID and unassign or terminate Sarah from EIV under Property Assignment Maintenance. Provide the reviewer with written certification that this has been completed. EIV will also give a confirmation and you have cleared up the finding. Hope this tip really helps and we'll see you next week for another tip on EIV security. I will share something that most of you probably have not even thought about. See you next week for another Tuesday tip.